Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to run a simple VAD in application on IntelliJ version 14. So I assume you already have it installed on your machine, whether it's uh, Windows, Linux. So in my case, I'm using a MacBook. So I'll search it right here. IntelliJ. Okay, so it's loading up. All right. So what we do first is we will go to create a new project since we don't have an existing project, this is a fresh project. Then we click. So a simple dialog appears showing us what sort of project that we want to create, whether it's a simple Java or it's an enterprise uh, Java application or Android or whatever. So in our case, we want to do Vardin. So Vardin is found under Java Enterprise. Right, so the first thing, if it's a fresh installation, you want to set up the project SDK, so you navigate to where your Java binaries are found. So you just click the new button and then uh, navigate, so you select, so we, we want uh, Java, and then you would navigate to where your binaries are found. So in my case, I have them here, so there's no need to do it, to redo it again. You don't have to specify the application server. So if it's a fresh installation, you would click the new button and then you'd select what type of server you want to use. So in our case, we're going to use the Tomcat EE server. And upon clicking that, you'd have to specify the home directory of your Tomcat installation. So you just click the browse button and then navigate to, to wherever your installation is found and you're good to go. So for us, this is, there's no need to redo it again. And then the second thing, you get to choose what sort of libraries or framework that you want to use in your application. So since we're targeting to have a simple Vardin application with a Hello World, we're just going to use Vardin. So we check it and we get to do some more configurations. We specify what version of Vardin. So in our case, we're going to go for a simple Vardin 6. And we're going to check the create sample application so that we get... Uh, so that the, the, the IDE creates a default template for us. And we're going to choose setup library later so that I show you guys how to add libraries in your project. You could also go for the download option whereby the Vardin libraries will be downloaded for you automatically and you just go on with the coding. So next. Here we get to specify the name of the project so I'm just going to call it Vardin demo. Then you click the finish button and we're done. Right. Okay, so okay, so idea gives you a, uh, a tip every time you open it so you can get to read it to get different shortcuts on how to use your IDE so as to improve your productivity. So let's just close this. So here is our project. And here is how it's set up. This is a default folder for IntelliJ, and this is the source folder. And here is our sample application that was created. So as you can see, we are having errors here, right? So the red, the red, the red means that there's errors here. So what we need to do is add the Vardin library in our class path so that we can remove these errors. So how do we do that? Now with IntelliJ, the libraries are usually added on the project structure. So there's a shortcut that you can use to navigate to the project structure. So for, for guys who are using Windows or any other platform, you can just click help and click the default key map reference. So upon clicking this, a PDF document will appear with all the shortcuts that you need to know, all the shortcuts that can be used with IntelliJ. So in our case, our shortcut is found under the general. And for our case, we want to open the project uh, structure. So it's for me, it's command, then followed by semicolon. So for you guys using Windows, it, it might be something different. So you just look it up. OK, so I hit command, semicolon, sorry. All right. So what we want to do here is set up the libraries. So we go over to the library section and then we click the plus sign. So we get two options here. We could either get the libraries from our local machine or we could get them from the manual repository. So in my case, I have the libraries. 
right here on my machine and on my desktop. So desktop and then value 6.8 and then OK. OK. So we get a simple problem here. So whenever you add libraries, you also have to add the libraries on your artifact. We'll see what an artifact is a little bit later. So just click the fix button here and then add body artifact and we're good to go. So in a short while, the errors have disappeared and now we're ready to deploy our application. So before we get to the deploying part, um, we could we, we have to do a little bit of configurations on our Tomcat installation. All right. So what we check what we can do here we could also specify uh, the VM uh, op options if, if you have any. So in some cases, you'd find people specify these options on the catalina.bat file. So if you have done that with your Tomcat installation, it won't work. On, you'd get problems during the running of your application. So what I advise is specify all the options that you have right here. And not on the catalina.bat file. All right. So we could also choose the sort of browser we want. So in my case, I'm going to use Chrome. And the port number for the application is 885. So you cross check that with your installation. All right. So the second tab that we take a look at is the deployment tab. So here is where we get to to add the artifact. In my case. It's already been added. It's usually added automatically. So what else we can do here is specify the application context. So in my case, I'm just going to call it Vladin. Vladin demo. Right? OK. So we hit the OK button, and we'll be good to go. So the last thing that we do is hit the run button and our server will be started and the application will be deployed. Now, so there we do go. Here's our simple application with the context path that we specified and the hello world. Right, so that's it guys. That's how we run a simple Vardin application on IntelliJ. So See you next time on show where I'll show you how to, to to integrate Gradle with IntelliJ so that you can manage your, the dependencies of your libraries and also build your project using Gradle. See you guys. Cheers.